No Middle School is partnering with researchers from the University of Louisville to study the urban heat island effect. The students are collecting data and coming up with ideas to help the environment. We are setting up some weather stations around the county with the intent of monitoring the urban heat island, which is the city being a little hotter than the surrounding rural areas. They're also going to be looking at the data. Data will be collected. The urban heat island effect. And we will look at that to see long-term patterns or trends and so that they can see what little they do may or may not make a difference. I see it every day on the way on the bus and um, I am, so what it's doing is it's tracking the wind speed and the temperature and so um, what we're going to do is we're going to go out there and see how that's the, how Louisville's like rising with the urban heat island effect. We want to get some ground truth. We want to set up several stations, approximately 25, maybe more, and that way we can monitor on a daily basis what's going on spatially and temporally with the heat island. I think it's a real, real world application for them that we don't always necessarily see. This is something in real time that they can see what the effect is. I know Louisville's the number one uh, urban heat island having the effect, so I'm trying to figure out how fast it is rising. And um, we learned about some ways that we can do that, but I'm trying to find a way to do it in our school. To put under weather. The, the letter that you think are weather. Not only do they get the science experience of it, they get the real world, I'm the expert on this, let me, sh let me teach you what I know. So yeah, they do. The, the ones that were involved were very excited about it and the fact that it is, yeah, we're working towards a project that is global beyond just me. I think it's really interesting and I'm really flattered that I was um, chosen to be a part of this. So I think it's really cool that I'm going to I'm going to be able to make a difference, you know, cuz usually when when you're as young as I am, I'm only 13, um, you can't really step in and do a lot or, you know, they, they make you think that you can't do a lot. So it's cool that through school I'm able to have the opportunity to try and do something. A sea breeze moves across the central Florida Pennsylvania, which happens today. I don't think you can ever discount what any of these kids do because you know, a few short years, they're not going to be eighth graders. They're going to be leading what happens next in our country and our, in our world. I think in general there's some skepticism about climate change, climate science, and if we can get kids early on in the process and allow them to work with the data, see how things are done, that's a benefit to everybody. We've learned that things are going in the wrong direction and we're trying to find ways to take it back. Well, I mean, this is my home, so, you know, I don't, I don't want, even after I'm gone, I don't want it to rot away and become nothing. You know, I want, I want the memory of this place to still live on. That's always what you're working towards with the kids. You always want to see that light bulb go off, and it's just rewarding. There's um, a lot that all of us can do, students and people who aren't involved, but you can get involved, and it's little things like planting a tree or donating your time or donating your money. Even if you don't have money, donating your time. There's tons of ways. There's so much to do that there's tons of ways that you can get involved and I would definitely get involved.